I'm Ann Emery. You're watching DataViz on the go. Let's make a county level map in good old Excel. It's going to look like this when we're finished. And I'm showing you this map because just a few minutes ago, I was on a TA call with a public health group and one of the fellow presenters was showing all these really cool maps of counties in Alabama that he'd made in ArcGIS. And I don't have anything against ArcGIS. That's an amazing specialty mapping tool. But ArcGIS is not free. Okay, so if you need maps all day, every day, you are a cartographer, you always make maps every single day that you're on the job, you're making map after map after map, then of course you're going to need a specialty tool. But what if you only need a map once in a while? You need a couple maps for a slide deck to go talk at a conference. You need a couple maps for a grant report. You need a couple of maps for an infographic or a dashboard. Then good old Excel is going to be perfectly sufficient. So making a map in Excel is easy-ish. Uh, as usual, the data cleaning is what's going to take the longest. Once you have a perfectly clean, neat and tidy data set, then making the map is just goes like this, right? You'd have counties, you'd have whatever your variable is, your numbers, your percentages, your dollar amounts. And then you would just highlight this table, go to insert and click on map. And then you get your draft map, which of course you can format and change. You can change things like the title, you can change what appears in the legend. You can change the location of the legend. You can change if you see the entire US or you can right click. Have fun right clicking on maps. Just keep right clicking until you find the feature you need. And the feature you need is usually at the bottom. Okay. You can ignore, ignore, ignore. It's towards the bottom. Okay. And then it opens up this sidebar of everything you can change. Like you could say, I only want Alabama. Like if you work in Alabama, you share data with people in Alabama, you don't necessarily need to see the US. Maybe you just need Alabama. You can change the color. I've got depict data studio brand colors in here. You could add in your brand colors. You can change the lowest and highest. Like maybe you want this to not be dark brand color, but maybe lighter. That's all up to you. You can add county names. You can add numbers. Okay. It's supposed to be really quick. Famous last words though, right? Because getting the counties and getting the data in, well, that's what takes forever. And if you're brand new to maps, you might have noticed that these are the name of the county, the word county, comma, the state, and it has this little map picture on it. Okay, so I'm going to show you what you would need to do in real life to get everything formatted like this. Okay, if your data is not like just perfectly magically formatted. So to get a list of counties in Alabama, usually I would go to good old Wikipedia for that, but Wikipedia doesn't copy paste well into Excel. Like if, if you try to grab all this, sometimes it's just like messy when it copies and pastes. So I went to good old chat GPT and just asked for a list of counties in Alabama. And then it gives me this easy to copy paste list. So I'm going to grab these, copy. Go into Excel and let's start from scratch. We'll add these right here. We're going to add the word county. The more labels, the better to give Excel clues about what we need. You would have to remove any empty spaces, not one at a time. Okay, that would take all day. Instead, we're going to sort. Click on the A above the column to click on that entire column. Highlight the entire column. Data, sort. Yes, our data has headers. I just put in the word county right there. We're going to click OK, and everything's going to be A to Z with data at the top. And then the blanks, the empties, they're going to be automatically at the bottom, meaning they just go away, OK, which is what we want. And then let's say you want to do, uh, the, yeah, this is a public health project. So we were looking at like number of diagnoses per, let's say we're looking at per 10,000 in this example. And then you'd fill in your numbers. Now, I'm going to fill in pretend numbers here with rand between, but you would fill in your real numbers, obviously. Okay, there's some pretend numbers, though, just for the sake of this tutorial. And if you highlight this and you go to insert and you grab a map, it's probably not going to work. It's probably going to give us a bunch of, yeah, who even knows? It's giving us like the whole world. 
I can see. Can you see if you zoom in here? Can you see like it kind of knows, knows where things are? It's putting little dots along there, but we're only looking at Alabama and there's dots all over the place. So let's delete this and do some more troubleshooting. The problem with a lot of um, like Excel really easily can handle country level maps and then sort of state or provincial maps. But when you get more and more detailed into counties, cities, towns, you have to give Excel extra clues because there are probably multiple walkers in the world. There's definitely multiple uh, Washingtons. There's all sorts of cities and states with Washington. So we have to tell Excel these are counties in Alabama. One thing we can do is tell it next door with a helper column that these are all in Alabama. That's going to help, okay? It's probably not going to fully help, though. Let's try highlighting these two special columns again. Insert, maps, are we getting closer? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, no, I can still see like little dots in the wrong places. Okay, let's try. Oh, I can also see some dots like here. If I look really carefully, yeah, none of those are in Africa. They all need to show up in Alabama. So we're going to keep going. Let's add the word county. So it knows these aren't cities or states or provinces, but it knows these are counties. I am not going to do this. I'm not going to type out times 67 the name and word county because like, duh, what a waste of time, right? I'm going to concatenate equals this name and county. Whoops, county. I'm going to make another video right after this about concatenation in case you don't know what concatenation is. Uh, so just look below in the video description and I'll link to that one too. It's a really, really nice time saver to know all about concatenation. And I'm going to copy, paste, special, the values. Whoops, what did I just click next to it? The numbers formatting. That's fine. Okay. Now I can delete this one. Let's see if we're getting closer. I don't know. I don't think this one's going to work. I think there still might be multiple Walker counties or Wilcox counties. Uh, yeah, still doesn't know these are Alabama. No big deal. Let's try another layer of troubleshooting. Let's turn these into uh, geography. So I'm going to highlight them, go up to data, click on data types, geography, and then give Excel a moment to think. And it will put these little cards next to the counties. When you click on those, it pulls up Wikipedia and Bing information. And now it definitely knows that is Alabama, right? Let me expand this column and see. Does it know all of these are in Alabama? Alabama, Alabama, Alabama. Do I see anything that's not Alabama? Uh, no, that should work. Okay. Highlight things again. What are we on? Like the fifth layer of troubleshooting and, and cleaning here? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, great. And then it finally, it finally knows that's for Alabama. And then you'd go through an edit where I said you just right click until you find what you need. Like you can right click here and go to the option on the bottom of the list, format legend. You can choose things like where you want the legend. Okay. You can do, you know, all sorts of stuff. You can click here, right click. You can click here, right click, go to the bottom, all the usual stuff. So to recap, if you need maps all the time, you are a full-time map maker, then you're probably already using ArcGIS. But if you need maps once in a while by county, by zip code, by state, by census tract, then good old Excel is going to be perfectly sufficient for you. To get your data into Excel, you're going to need the uh, all the geographic details. You're going to need to tell it, like, this is Alabama. You're going to need to give it these little cards, typically. And to get there, you might have to do some concatenation. You might have to click on your county names and go to data and change them to geography. Those are the most common things that you're going to have to do as you're troubleshooting. I have a whole video on 10 troubleshooting things that you might have to do for your maps. These ones being the most common, though. I'll also link to that one down below. I just want you to know Excel works for county level maps and it's pretty quick, quickish. 
unless you have to do all sorts of data cleaning or get a list of the counties if you don't already have that. Then it might take a few more minutes. Have fun with your maps. Let me know if you have any questions.